Welcome back to Love Always Emily. Today we're continuing on our last day of our Vegas series and we start off with such an exciting trip to the Hoover Dam to learn about a really unique part of American history. And then we headed back to Vegas to try some TikTok recommended Mexican food and followed it up with some viral donuts, which were amazing. So then we headed to the airport to catch our flight home to California after some sad goodbyes. But we hope you enjoy this vlog. We had so much fun making it. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Final day, Vegas. Final day. So sad. We're we going to drumroll. Hoover Dam! Oh, that was not my best. <clears throat> Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam. Hey, okay, we're gonna stop at the donut place. <laughs> and overall, it's an exciting day, but also a sad day. But it feels so good to not be at work for the fourth day in a row. <laughs> True. They're closed. I'm kind of bummed. It's a little bit of disappointment. We're all set. And we're gonna come back later. Welcome to the Hoover Dam! We're here. It's right there. What a majestic sight, am I right? So, some fun facts about the Hoover Dam. First, it's 1,244 feet long at the top, and it's 726 feet high <laughs> um, from the lowest point of the foundation up to the crest. Pretty crazy. And it is, it's reservoir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's be honest. I was reading these from Google. <laughs> so, the Hoover Dam was built in, well, it started construction in 1931. And it was completed four years later in 1935. Good hands. Yeah, and it has had a lasting impact in America. Why don't you talk about the impact, really? <laughs> you can leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, our dam footage is kind of limited due to the rain. We are not sacrificing the camera for some dam footage. And we're gonna go inside the dam next, so that will be very insightful. We'll get to see the power plant and different locations in the dam. Before they could even start building the dam, they had to make these tunnels. They had to make these tunnels because the Colorado River needed to be diverted in order to be able to make the dam. So to get rid of all the water, they created diversion tunnels in the rock. And so these tunnels were created and then the dam could be dug deep and to be built. That was... As you can right see on the floor, now. how it shifts from this to this color. That's the difference between the PowerPoint or the 
plant in the dam. We're in the dam now. So one thing we just learned is that this whole style is based on the Art Deco style, which was popular in the 1930s when this was built. So you can see all of these little, as well as these light pictures, are all original and really signature of the Art Deco style. Also, originally these grades were not open, but so many people came in high heels and tricked that they had to fill them in. And all of this flooring was built by an Italian immigrant family, and at the time it was valued at $59,000, but today's money it would cost millions for this kind of artisanal work. Enjoying the tour a lot. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love these light fixtures. We need one for our apartment. Going to the edge of the It's a very tight fit. <laughs> the water. <laughs> Sweet. In the dam. So this tunnel is 5 foot 11, so I have to duck down a little bit <laughs> in order to fit through. But very cool. <laughs> We're waiting to see the stairway to heaven, which are the stairs that all the workers would use to come up and down before the elevators were installed. And apparently it's really tough to go all the way up and all the way down, so they must have been in very good shape. I think it's almost 800 steps. Yeah, said. which is crazy. If you've read Akatar, Nesta did 10,000, so I mean it's kind of nothing compared to that, but... Okay, we're not including that. <laughs> okay, these are some steep stairs. <laughs> this is the top of the Hoover Dam. It's crazy. Is this snowing? Off the wall. No, it's what is that? Snow. No. Done at the Hoover Dam. That means candy taste test part two time. <laughs> so we'll keep you updated, maybe. Getting lunch at a place recommended by Keith oh, Lee. Ethan. Ethan just woke up from a nap, but Keith Lee recommended it. It's called La Barbacoa, and I'm excited for some Mexican food. <laughs> this is Keith Lee's favorite thing that he ate here, so let's try. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Estoy enamorada porque cuando veo cosas muy bonitas pienso en ti como un cafecito en la primavera se siente tan rico y ay tu aroma enloquece las flores y so official post lunch reactions. What did you think, Ethan? It was amazing. It was really good food. Yeah. What was your favorite part? I really loved my chicken tacos. I mean, then turn left. I'm a little biased because that's what I got, feet. but I also loved it. I thought it was really good. The tacos turn were left, good. Nacho fry things were really good too. Uh, the queso was awesome. Oh, you're right. Yeah. The queso actually Loki might be my fave. My dad's tacos were really good. And honestly, I thought the service was really great. 10 out of 10 for me. There's always room for improvement. But it, was, <laughs> <laughs> but it was really excellent. I'd give it a solid a 9.6 out of 10. That's high. Like the, if, the, if we're talking strictly but food, it's strictly really food great food. And that's great. That's what matters. Okay, mom and dad, a quick little reaction from you guys. Nine out of 10. Dad? I'd go 9 out of 10 on that. Solid, <laughs> solid 9 out of 10. In service, I'd go 10 out of 10. Yes. Oh, well, there you have it. Bob Barbacoa in Vegas. <laughs> now we're all for donuts. <laughs> Boston cream donuts. I'm ready. 
That's actually really good. That is jelly full. Okay, here's the jelly one. And look how much jelly is it's in the, it. It's the classic sugar. It's a classic. Sugar. You want to try? It's like a ton of jelly. It's almost like unappetizing. <laughs> Mm. Let's go. Mm. I like it. You like that one? I like the boxing cream one. It's cannoli. Cannoli. Cannoli down. I'm part of the cannoli, yeah. It's like a cannoli. <laughs> Can't go wrong. It's very good. Okay. Well, see you later. We are officially at the airport and I cried a little bit. Saying goodbye to my parents. Ethan went through the normal airport security line for me, which was really sweet. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> but it was a really great trip. I'm really glad we got to come. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank you so much too. Jeff and Julie. Yeah. Mom, Molly's parents. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff and Julie. And yeah, I think we're gonna call it and Elijah and, Elijah and Becca. Becca because they Mom's had us cousins. at their lovely yeah. house in Las Vegas and yeah, it was so sweet. So and such the dog. and the dog Eggsy. Just looking for a reason to remember the song.